Aloha, it's Matthew, and I'm back with some more Halloween nail ideas. So on uh, my last video that I did on Saturday, um, we did <clears throat> these nail tips here, and... Uh, I'm going to give a, a little try on something. I found that if I zoom... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, you can see the design way better. So there's a zombie shaka hand coming out and uh, painted the moon with the glow in the dark. Um, oh, this one ended up being upside down. So those are all tiki's. I had meant to do all the designs this way. A little pineapple o lantern skulls and palms and I think that this one was the one that when I zoomed in impressed me the most because at the other zoom you just can't see it and then that one there's a lot more detail you can see as well so I'm gonna zoom back out okay so I'm gonna do the video like this and then I'm going to zoom in at the end and do a detailed look at them so I hope that works um and on my nails, I have um, Orly Dreamers Awake from last year's Color Pass, the fall collection, the Surrealist collection. And this was my original idea to do for my accent nail when I did those green ones. Um, but I ended up doing this one because I had to run out so that we could go get our day started. Um, and both that skull with the flower behind its ear and the, the little Day of the Dead flamingo there come from the um, <clears throat> Manny by Me kit plate, MXM111. So there's the skull and there's the flamingo. And um, I reverse stamped the skull, I painted in the flower, and then I used, again from that, Surrealist collection, I used... Oh, it's that French name. I used the Bone White that's in that collection. Um, and so at the end, I'm going to show you how I did that, but just because um, I did this one last night. Because um, we were going out for my friend's birthday, and I thought I needed just a little bit more pizzazz. Oh, and mind you, I did these nails. I painted them on Friday. It is... Thursday... So I did them Friday night. So I almost have a week's worth of wear. You can see my cuticles are growing out, you know, or not my cuticles are growing out. You could see more nail. Um, I have almost a week's worth of growth happening. Oh, there's the cuticle. And um, no tip wear, no chipping. I love Orly polishes. They are so amazing. Look at that. Okay, so let's focus on what we're going to do today. Today... I picked up the Maniology, what is this? The Illusionist Collection. It's three polishes. It's set 073, if that helps anything. Um, it's their, it came in their um, Halloween box this year. Um, but it wasn't exclusive to the box. You can go buy these on the site right now. So I figured we'd start by swatching those. And I think I'm going to use this one on one of my nail designs. Um, and then I'm going to try using the, the smoke show, the gray here. Because um, in the bottle, it looks a little bit lighter than it actually um, dries. So, let's get started on that. Okay. So... I thought it was going to be entirely ready and have everything already ready already. That's a joke. Okay. Uh, so here's... Got some stampers ready. So for... Um, for swatching out polishes... Um, for swatching out individual polishes, I, I like using this Maniology M298 and using these brush strokes right across the top. But I remember saying, because I, I swatched out a collection, 
a uh, couple videos back and I told myself that I think I want to start using, if I get a collection, I want to use a specific blob on all three. And then that way I'll know that they came together. It's just a thing for um, me being uh, particular. Um, real quick, these nails that we're going to work on today are, uh, the purple is Synthetic Symphony by Orly. The um, green is Thrill, Thrill Seeker. And the orange is Melt Your Popsicle. So those will be the, the base here. Let's get these ones swatched real quick. And then we can do those designs. And then uh, I also did a gray nail tip to match these so that I can do the walkthrough on that one, um, which was pretty simple. Um, it's reverse stamping. We'll get to it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this little um, almost crescent moony shape. I think that's what I'm going to use. Oh, and then for the um, nails we're doing today, I plan to use the Maniology M158. Um, it's an older Halloween one, but I love these little doggy bones and kitty bones. And then we're going to use that pumpkin. We're going to use a mummy wrap with some eyeballs. And then these skulls. I believe that's the plan for over there. We'll see how well we can stick to that. Okay, so... Just swatching, we're going to get this moon here. Yeah, okay, and that's gonna go on the right bottle here. So I like to go over the words because then that lets you know if, um, if there's any translucency, like here you can see the words a little bit still. Um, so, I mean, on white, it's definitely going to show up purple. But if you do have something underneath it, like if you had a black design and you were going over it with this purple, it's still going to, that whatever's underneath will show through a little bit. Just something to be aware of. Um, and I have a cotton ball on my little grabber tool here. I'm gonna get some acetone. If you don't know, this little grabber tool keeps the acetone away from your nails so that while you're cleaning up your plate, you don't risk ruining your, your manicure by grabbing like a cotton ball and having it, you know, get on you. Okay, so let's go with this one. Did I say the name on that one? That one is Charmed. B486. This one is Trickster B487. And let's put that down. And scrape it. I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape. I'm just going to clean up the stuff that I don't want there, just like that. <laughs> Ooh, I hope I don't run out of time. Okay, there we go. You have a little bit more time when you're working on nails, but when you're working on these paper, ooh, these paper swatch stickers, oh, yep, see, it didn't want to stick. It got just barely dry enough that it won't stick, which, come on now, sticks to me, but won't stick to the paper. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, clean that up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to try and move just a wee bit faster. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like this one is going to have a little bit of that translucency as well. Which again, it's nothing wrong with the polish. It's just um, some are more opaque than others. <clears throat> okay, so then this one, I think we're going to be using this one on the some of the designs today. Because it's really close to black, but it's not as... Uh, Stark is a black. It's a nice deep charcoal. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you hear pig noises or snoring in the background, that's my Boston Terrier. I had been locking the dogs, well, locking, just closing the door to the bedroom when we um, record, but, um, I didn't today. See, now there's the difference I was talking about. This is, uh, gonna see how you can still read the words swatch me on, on the charmed, <clears throat> but on this smoke show B488, it, you can't see the words at all, except for what's sticking out right there, right? But you can't read through that whatsoever. It is solid. So just it's just a little bit different. Um, not bad or worse. It's just uh, the other ones have a little bit of a little bit of translucency, which is good for this one because I think we're going to use this for the eyeballs when we make that mummy. So um, okay. Let's get started on these nails. So my idea for this thumb one was that I want to do um, this pumpkin. And they have, you can layer it. So you could do, this is a full solid pumpkin and then you can put the outline on it. Then you can put the stem and then there's like a little outline accent shadow stuff for the, for the stem. But my idea is to take an already orange nail and just use the outline um, so that you know, okay, this is the pumpkin. And then we're going to put a jack-o'-lantern face on it in black and then a stem. So let's see if we can make my vision come to life here. Okay, so first thing we need is the outline. And I'm... Not using the... Uh, I am going to use straight up black for this one. I think that that's appropriate. Yeah. So. All right, I'm just going to pull that off there. Okay. So. Okay, I did grab the right one. Straight up black. I also have um, Kraken and Acorn, which came out recently. Kraken was in the June uh, Manny by Me box, and Acorn was in the September. And one is a super dark navy, and one is a super dark brown, which are very similar. They're so dark, they're similar to the black. All right, perfect. So let's get rid of that stem for now, because we don't want it right now. Um... But we do want, I think I'm going to make it to where people can see the pumpkin. Like that. Uh-huh. Okay. And then let's get, let's clean that up and then grab that stem. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we just need the tiniest little... I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and do the solid... Because there's a solid and there's an outline when it comes to uh, the stem. And I'm just going to hit that solid... Mm-hmm. Get rid of those two little dots that we don't want. And 
put it right there, because that's where, oh, perfect, line up. Because that's where the stem would come. All right, and then let's put a scary face. Oh, that's a good one. I want that scary face on it. Okay. So, um, I think we're going to go with, do I have a... You know what I've got, and I think I want to try. Is no, nah, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, I was thinking I would try. There's the black holographic, but I think that that would look weird with no other sparkly stuff on the nail. I'm just gonna stick with the black. Okay, so let's go right there in the in the face, okay, and scrape it, and pick it up, oh yeah, I'm going to get rid of the stuff we don't want, okay, and put that scary face right there, oh yeah, okay, just like that. So there's nail number one. Okay, so then this one here is the nail that I wanna do that mummy design on. So you can pick your set of eyeballs and then you can wrap it up in mummy wrap, right? Um, so had I thought this out, had I thought from the plate first and gone back to the nail color, I probably would have chosen something like more dead and gray looking rather than purple. But I think this will work for what we're doing. I think it's going to work just fine. So I'm going to take this uh, trickster. And I think I want to pick the eyes down here that kind of look like cat eyes. They have the irises like cats. And... Okay, let me just take a look at where the mummy wrap is going to fall on the nail when I do it. So I want the eyeballs to be right in there. Let's hope we land them right. Um, this is my first time using this plate. So um, I think if you wanted to be more precise, you could do the bottom. Like you could do your eye. Let's, let's do it. Let's just do it before you. Okay. Got the eyeballs. Okay. And then so I don't have to clean up in between that one. I'm just going to scrape that direction and pick that up. Good. Let's get rid of the stuff we don't want. And then I was hoping that since this one's a little bit translucent, we discovered there's going to be a little bit of, yeah, right there. That purple's going to show through just, a, yeah, darken it up a little bit. That's what I was hoping for. Like really sick, jaundice -y looking eyes, maybe. Because um, it's a mummy, right? Okay. And so for the wrap, I want to use, where's that color? Here it is. Coconut, I think. Is that the... No, that's what I'm looking for, coconut. <laughs> I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, coconut. Yep. So coconut B two six eight. So now, if your nail is longer or if you want to show more of those eyeballs, I think that you could stamp the base first and then stamp the top and get them exactly how you want them. Um, if you wanted to be super specific about the, uh, like, you know, if you wanted to spread that open a little bit more, because, like, these eyes are bigger than this set of eyes. 
So if you wanted to do that, you just, you know, you'd pick it up and then take this off your stamper and do the bottom first and then repeat and pick it up and take the that off the stamper and do the top. But in the uh, in the spirit of getting this video made and not having you guys sit here for three hours, I'm just going to do the whole thing. And you can imagine what it would be like if you separated it or wanted to do so. Okay. So we're going to scrape. Mm-hmm. Pick it up. All right. And. Yeah, see, even with this nail tip, if I'd have done what I just explained doing, like I could have gotten to the point that, see how the top and the bottom, the um, image doesn't quite, oh, let's just do this then. Let's just do, um, boop, right there on the, nope. Okay, it's done. See how right on the very tip, and, or I guess the top and then the very tip, the pattern doesn't quite stretch. That would be, oh, that would be fine to do if you, you know, if you split up the bottom and the top, you'd be able to shift that down ever so slightly and that bit up ever so slightly. So your design would go the full length and it would open up the eyes just, excuse me, just a little bit, but I think it turned out cute. Okay. All right. Nail number three is this bright neon, neon green, and it is going to get the dogs. So I don't know if you, I think you saw, I showed earlier, there's skeleton dogs and skeleton cats here, and I think that they're just adorable. Okay, so let's clean off that corner dog. He's got some yellow in him, or green. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now here is where I wanted to bring in the smoke show B488 rather than the straight up black. Um, I think the black would be very bold on this neon, on this uh, thrill seeker. And if that's what you wanted, if you wanted the strongest, boldest look, go for it. But I'm I'm just using this one so you can see, because this one's black on neon, and you can see it's really uh, bold, right? So I'm going to try and see if this one is just ever so slightly more, um, just less, you know, a little more muted, not so strong. Okay, plenty of polish in the plate. Okay, I forgot to clean off that stamper, so let's grab the monocle. Okay, we're going to scrape. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. Let me real quick get rid of the stuff we don't want. Okay, those dogs are adorable. Can you see? Okay. Let's get them on the nail. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is super cute. And if you wanted to do like a whole uh, skeletons and bones and dog skeletons and cat skeletons theme, there's also, um, here it says bad to the bone. Um, so that could totally be a, a cute little uh, addition to an all bone because there's more skeletons and bones here. And we're going to use these skulls here in a minute. Okay, so let me clean up. Let's see if I can get this. Mm, I think I just need a new cotton ball. Okay. Whoop! You know what? I said this might happen. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I have a really good and saturated uh, cotton ball right now. All right. I'm just going to clean up. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Catastrophe struck. I had talked a couple videos back about getting a pump dispenser on my uh, acetone so that I wouldn't be risking everything by sloshing over my plate and my work surface like I just did. And what do you know? I told the future. Okay. I think... Okay. I mean, acetone evaporates super quick. This paper towel's already dry. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a little number like this. And just fold those to the inside. Okay. <laughs> Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Okay. My plate is now clean. And um, the panic is gone. Okay, clean plate. So this last nail, or fourth nail here, we got, we're going for, um, this one is going to have the skulls. And since we're on a darker color here, I thought I'd use um, a lighter color, perhaps something like Luna. This is Luna B327, um, and in my hand it almost looks like a white, but you put it, put it next to white, and you can see that it's got a tinge of gray. It's definitely not white. Okay, so the skeletons, yeah, the skeletons here. There's plenty of polish in the plate. Uh -huh. Okay. I still didn't clean off my stamper. What? Okay. I'm going to take a second. Pull myself together. Um, now, I did plan this manicure out on a sticky stamper station sheet, so I've got plenty of sticky stamper station sheet here to clean off these stamps. Um, it's a great function of the station is once you've planned your manicure, then you take that sheet off and you've got the sticky part, which cleans your stamper heads in between pulling stamp images up. Okay, so let's clean that out. Sure, there's no, no little cotton fuzzies. I saw a couple left behind there. Okay. All right. So let's do that again. And we're using Luna for a nice light gray. I think coconut would have been a good idea for this one too. Something that's gonna look like bones because we're working with uh, this cute little skeleton design. All right, that that is what we're looking for. There we go. Okay, so give me that purple nail. And let's get it on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm finding, I mean, obviously if you use like colors that are like tone on tone or close together, you can get a very subtle look, but when you're using um, a light on a dark or a dark on a light, you're gonna get this contrast that in my opinion just looks stellar. Yeah. 
All right. Okay, and then the final nail, we are doing, you know what, let's come back to the final nail because I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one on the nail tip, right? And in order to, to have a moment for the, uh, the reverse stamping to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the reverse stamping going and set it aside to dry. And then, um, so there's that one. And we'll set it aside to dry and then we'll come back, hit the orange one. And then by the time we're done with the orange one, the reverse stamping should be dry enough to put on the nail. So let's pull in that plate. This is the plate I used the other day. It's from the uh, Maniology Mani by Me kit for for October, MXM 111. I take it back. This is for September. Um, Maniology does a good month ahead on a lot of their stuff. So all this stuff is, you know, Halloween and spooky vibes, but they sent it to you in September so you can have plenty of time to use it. And, um, and plan out stuff for October and Halloween season. Okay, so here's my skull. I used straight up black. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we're gonna scrape that and pick them up. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's get rid of this stuff we don't want. Perfect. Okay, so there is the skull. Let me grab. Um... Now, of course, you can pick any color you want for that hibiscus flower, but on my nail, you see that uh, flash where that, oh, I don't know that the, the camera's really picking up. There's a luster and a glitter in there because it's this polish right here. It is candy cane, um, which is like an orange duochrome ready, which um, there's a hibiscus that, grows that's this color it's almost uh looks like a sunset or a sunrise it's one of my favorites okay so i'm gonna put down this little piece of tape that i used earlier and i'm gonna drop a little dot of polish there i mean like the tiniest dot because this flower is a very small part of the design okay and then i got my detail brush this um actually came in the September box. And that's what that's what finally actually made me sign up for uh, the Manny by Me kit. Cuz I had been eyeballing it. I had been seeing the June the June release with the abyss and the colors that came in it and the stamping plates. That was I almost signed up at that point. Um if you haven't seen those plates or those polishes, I made a video. I'm pretty new here on YouTube, so I'm going to figure out how to link videos I've already made. So when I talk about them, I can say, hey, look, this is where it is. Go check it out. And um, that was one of my first videos. So a lot of the times when I'm showing finished nails, I'm like, doing this look at that nail and i'm not even on screen so <laughs> bear with me on that one if you do watch it um i plan to make a a take two video where i go back and just do it again but with um where you can actually see what's on the nail when i show it to you guys okay cleaned up my brush with a little touch of acetone there and so for the um, for the bone color, as I think I said earlier, we're going to use this Orly Bone White 
Uh, I just don't speak French, you guys. I've been learning Spanish and I've got like a 500 some day streak on my Duolingo. I've been really going hard at it. Um, I, sp I was learning Spanish in high school. I did uh, two years then and then I didn't really use it for a long time. And then I decided recently to pick it back up again. Well, at the beginning of 2020, uh, I had a 609 day streak on Duolingo and then my car went into the shop for nearly a month and the stress, <laughs> the stress that was going on during that time, I managed to miss like three days in a row and um, I lost my 609 day streak. Okay, so here we go. So we got the skull picked up. We got his flower painted in. Um, and if you don't know, when you put a flower behind your ear here in Hawaii, if you put it on the right ear, behind your right ear, that means that you are available. And if you put it behind your left ear, it means you're taken. Think like wedding ring. Wedding ring goes on the left e hand. Put your flower behind your left ear if you're taken. Okay. And let's just grab this and get him colored in. This um, bone white is just perfect for bone. Um, I was saying that these brushes are kind of what sold me on the kit. Um, they're in the September kit. Uh, well, with every kit, you get two early release polishes, two exclusive plates, and then um, a free gift of some sort. And for September, the free gift was five of these um, detail brush dotting tool combos. Um, let me get this last little corner painted in and I'll show you the, um, see the back side here? There is a um, dotting tool on each one of them in different sizes. Okay, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside and let it dry. I'm gonna clean off my brush. You always wanna just get some acetone and then drag it in the direction that the bristles go. You don't wanna agitate it fiercely or you'll, you'll fray the bristles and then you'll no longer have that detailed point, which is, I mean, that's the whole purpose of the brush is to have that nice, neat point. And so then after, uh, after I finish the video here, I will go rinse out any leftover um, acetone residue and um, put the tiniest little bit of cuticle oil on there to maintain those bristles. Okay, so I, our skull is drying. Let's get on this last nail. And before I put my hand in it, I'm just gonna smear that to let it dry so I don't pick it up accidentally where I don't want it. Okay, and um, the last nail, we're going back to that original plate here. And I wanna do the cats, which it looks like they're mostly clean, but let's just give it one last little. Clean up there. Okay. And I want to use that uh, smoke show again. We're in screen screen. I know my paper towel's moving around. Usually that tells me where the, the frame is. At least that's what I've been using recently. Okay. So let's get these cats. Plenty of polish on the plate. Okay. And we're gonna scrape it. Pick it up. Oh yeah. I don't know if you see in there, um, 
There's little fish bones, too. There's the, the skeleton cats, and then there's little skeleton fish bones in there, too. And so let's go just like that. Oh, yeah. This smoke show gray is uh, looking really good. Oh, that one on the side is trying to peel up. There we go. All right, you guys. Okay. So there's that. So here in just a second, I will zoom in so that we can take a look at them more closely. But before we do that, let's see about this. Okay, I think I'm gonna risk it. I think we're ready. Oh. Polish on the tips of my fingers from the, maybe from scraping or something. I'll get that cleaned up later. Okay, um, I need some, well, Maniology recommends that you use their sticky base coat. Um, but I have Orly Bonder Base, which is what I use for almost all my my personal manicures. That's what's underneath all this. And um, it behaves much like their sticky base coat. It's orange in color. I think that they're pretty similar. Um, I'm not going to say that they're the exact same because obviously, you know, each one might have their own proprietary ingredients or whatever. But... Um, I'm just going to put a little blob right there in the center of the nail because it's just the center of the nail design. If you were going to, um, if you had like a full something like this one, if you, you know, if you, this one I reverse stamped by coloring in that moon. So when I went to go stick it on, I just hit the whole nail with the bonder base and then You want to let it dry for 30 to 45 seconds, which I've already been talking that long. And, um, and then you just stick it on just like that. Okay. And that's how I did that design is literally all the exact same ingredients. Uh, and I stamped the Aloha. There's, um, there's like a spooky lettering Aloha right there, which, you know, you could do it in red to make it look like blood or whatever, but I was in a hurry to get out the door. So I just grabbed black cause I already had it out. Okay. So now let's do a zoom in. Okay. Oh, look at that nice blob. <laughs> okay. So here, I'll get that out of the background so it's not so distracting, maybe. Okay, now let's take a look at here what we got. Okay, so started with the pumpkin. Yeah, you gonna focus? Uh, started with the pumpkin. There's the mummy. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, those dogs are super cute. Got skulls, and they are doing different things. Like some of them are smiling, and some of them are angry. Try not to move it too much so it stays in focus. There we go, focus. And then that's the cats. Hmm. Is it? Aha! There it goes. There are the cats, and they got the little fish bones. Okay, I'm zooming back out. So that is the set of ideas for today. And now, granted, you don't have to do all of your nails if you think that's too busy. Um, if you want to do all your nails, follow your heart, do it. Um, but this is a good idea for if you just want to do one accent nail. And um, so there's that. Again, that was plate one five, M158 for the, the all these today. And then the one from the other day is um, exclusive 
Manny by Me played MXM 111. Um, oh, I never said in the beginning, if you like the content that I'm making, go ahead and like my video, subscribe to my channel if you want, and I will bring you more ideas for nail art. Okay, bye.